Why should somebody be wearing this while they clean up the spill? Well, it's hard to talk through these things. Yeah. But uh, this is on pretty well. Right. Sealed around my nose and around my chin. If I were out in the sun, if I were out in the sun, it would get hot. But it's better to get hot than to get sick. And this kind of respirator will filter out the organic vapors in the air. So it'll keep people from getting, uh, you know, inhaling the fumes that are coming off of the oil or the dispersants if they get into the air, which they do. Right. What kind of what kind of adverse health effects do uh, these dispersants and the oil fumes have? Oil fumes can have acute health effects. They range anywhere from headaches and nausea and vomiting and shortness of breath all the way up to loss of consciousness and you know serious and even um, also a chemical pneumonitis of the lungs. Um, longer term health effects though are the bigger concern because um, in the Exxon Valdez spill cleanup workers, for example, we've seen things ranging from you know, chronic respiratory problems, neurologic problems, to cancer. And we don't want to see that happening on the Gulf Coast. Right. Um, and as you've noted, there have been uh, re reports of most of the cleanup workers are not being provided with this equipment. Uh, we've been hearing that the fishermen who were hired to do the cleanup have been getting a very abbreviated safety training, um, not getting the full set of protective equipment and not getting respirators. And um, the training and safety equipment has been improving a little bit over the course of the week. So yesterday we heard that they are getting some um, of these protective suits that protect their clothing so that they don't end up going home to their families with oil contaminated clothing which can injure their kids. Um, they also need gloves that are impermeable and that won't um, let the oil through to damage their hands, and also some oil components get absorbed through the skin, including some of the cancer-causing components of uh, crude oil. And the other thing that these workers need to have if they're pulling up booms and other oil-soaked materials, uh, goggles, so that they don't get um, splashes in the eyes, because the eyes are very sensitive. So if you don't have goggles on and you get a splash of you know, crude oil, you can end up with severe eye damage. Okay. Do you have any idea 